Throughout the month of March, we are featuring remarkable women in our community. We asked you to nominate them, and a committee narrowed the list down to four. One of those women is Jennifer Berry. As WKRG News 5's Devin Walsh reports, she started a foundation in honor of her daughter Caroline, who died of childhood cancer, and calls it the Berry Strong Foundation. I'm Caroline Berry. Yes, as y'all can probably tell since the bald head, I am bald and I do have cancer. She had stage four aviolar rhabdomyosarcoma. When you meet Jennifer Berry, it's easy to see how she could raise a remarkable young woman like her daughter Caroline. She loved the beach for sure. Caroline fought for her life every day after she received a devastating cancer diagnosis. Jennifer is determined to help other families affected by cancer. Caroline was diagnosed with cancer of the soft tissue when she was 14. She died died at age 16 in 2018. I wanted to share my story and raise awareness and even raise money for something that's so important to me. But before her death, Caroline made it her mission to educate others about the need to raise awareness about childhood cancer. There's just so many kids out here going through the same thing that I am. And it's really devastating to me because no kid should ever have to go through anything. Like this. Jennifer took her daughter's lead and formally established the Barry Strong Foundation. Through events like Black Tie Bingo in Daphne, they've raised over $175,000. Um, her wish before she passed away was um, to raise enough money to be able to fully fund a childhood cancer research grant. And so um, we partner with the St. Baldrick's Foundation, who is the largest private funder of childhood cancer research grants in the United States. And um, we started a hero fund in her name. Year five, we were able to um, carry out her wish and fully fund a childhood cancer research grant in her name. Jennifer's friend Kim Krabs nominated her for WKRG's Remarkable Woman Award. She met Jennifer when her son was in the hospital fighting cancer at the same time as Caroline. Her son survived his cancer. She says Jennifer has turned her grief into action. Caroline talks through her. Some parents don't want to listen to that. She listens to it full force. She admires Jennifer's strength. She is 100% in this game. That's what makes her remarkable. She's never going to say no. Jennifer has made it her goal to finish what Caroline started and encourage people to go gold during September, which is Childhood Cancer Month. I want schools to go gold. I want us to have fundraisers. I want the money to just go to research and save these kids. I'm doing it for, for her, and I, I feel like she is really guiding me. So I feel like, you know, she's the one that's remarkable, not necessarily me. Well, no doubt they are both remarkable. By the way, the Barry Strong Foundation not only funds research grants, but it also provides money to families whose children are receiving cancer treatment at USA Health Children's and Women's Hospital. By the way, Jennifer also goes to Washington, D.C. to lobby for more funding for childhood cancer, which she says is badly needed. Devin Walsh, WKRG News 5. Brought to you by Bob Boyd Honda. This is WKRG News 5.